So are you friends with people that aren't really friends? Have you ever thought about that? Before I get into explaining this whole thing, I'm gonna tell you the two most important things to look at when you're wanting to change your life is what do you do on a daily basis because we become what we do? And then who are you hanging out with because we become the type of person we hang out with? Hey, David Essel here, David Essel's Daily Video Boost, your exclusive online video community, your coach, counselor, cheerleader, so excited to have you with us right now. And as we explore the concepts of becoming more successful in life, uh, more amazing in life, but this is crucial. This exercise is crucial. Get your pen ready to write some stuff down and then do the exercise at the end because it will prove that you're ready to change. Now, remember what I said. We become who we hang around with. So do you have friends in your life that you don't really respect, that you don't really like that much, that are a real pain in the butt, that get underneath your skin constantly, that maybe aren't trustworthy? Because if you do, which many of us do, it's a sign of being extremely codependent. But worse than that is that those people are gonna be anchors to hold you down. So if you have friends that when you go out for a drink, get drunk, and then whatever, whatever, you know, you have to drive them home or they have, there's problems with their relationship. You gotta really look at that and go, is this the type of person I want in my life? If you have people in your life that gossip a lot about other individuals, you have to evaluate is this the type of person that's best for me in my life? If you have people in your life who constantly complain and bitch about the presidency, the economy, the blah, 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 and that's not what you want, then you've got to evaluate, is this the type of person I want in my life? Like this is serious stuff. So here's the exercise. I want you to write down a list of the people that you interact with the most every two weeks, okay? I don't care if it's only text, if it's only phone calls, or if it's only in person, doesn't matter to me. Who do you interact with? And then next to them, write down, are they the type of person that I want to become? Interesting exercise. And if you find when you write your list that you have two people or 20 people and that you find certain people are absolute anchors and drags and maybe you've even mentioned them before, hey, if you're gonna keep gossiping, you know, we're not gonna be able to spend time together. If you're gonna keep drinking this much, we're not gonna be able to spend time together. If you're gonna keep being so negative and complaint, and, and that might sound like brutal to some people. Some people might go, oh, aren't we supposed to accept everyone? Well, you can, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm serious, man. Life is too short to be surrounded by anchors. Now, you have two options. Number one is to cut them out of your life. And there might be some people you write about. You go, you know what? I got to just not be with that person. Or you might write down, I'm going to cut this person back by 90% or 50% or something. But be, we become who we hang out with. So please do this exercise, okay? And don't forget to let your friends know that we're offering these tips every day to lift this world up. Our goal is to lift 2 million people a day through the work that we're doing and we're doing it. And we're going to raise that number, baby. <laughs> As you watch these exercises and you say, you know what? I'd like to get a little bit more accountability, have more accountability. Email me at talkdavid.com and you and I will kick butt together, okay? Have a beautiful day.